गुड मॉर्निंग लिसनर्स ऑन रेडियो आकाशवाणी 106.5 पॉइंट फाइव एफ एम एंड ऑल दो आर लिसनिंग टू अस वाई आर लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन रेडियो आकाशवाणी डॉट को डॉट टी टी दिस मॉर्निंग कमाला इंट्रोड्यूस द प्रोग्राम एज कुकिंग विद ताउशो बुद्धा इट इज रेलिवेंट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक टू यू फॉर योर मच अवेटेड क्वेश्चन अबाउट कुकिंग ताउशो बुद्धा वे हाउ टू कुक ताउशो बुद्धा वे द कुकिंग क्लास दल द अरेंजमेंट इज फाइनलाइज आई विल गिव यू द इंफॉर्मेशन सब्सिक्वेंटली बट वी आर स्पीकिंग टू यू नो योर फूड्स योर फेवरेट प्रोग्राम एंड फेवरेट बॉयज नो योर फूड्स वी आर कमिंग टू यू विद द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स ऑफ दी चपाती फ्लावर the stone grind whole wheat flour emphasis is on stone grind whole wheat flour naturally good and healthy surabhi and lakshmi brand of coconut oil himalayan rock salt treated as fire salt with 5% cayenne pepper and 95% himalayan rock salt deep frozen foods how to jaan over the years we had been propagating the program to bring about the transformation in human consciousness whether you are interested in my wisdom or not whether you are interested in the spiritual dimension or not you are certainly interested in food the way i cook the information that i disseminate to you you will certainly be interested because food is the grossest and one of the most important ingredients for our lives many questions have been asked about the qualities of the fire soul the its connection the relation between the foods and the lifestyle and the health i will answer some of those questions my main field is spirituality one day someone asked buddha what is your way are you a philosopher or thinker or what buddha said i am a physician i cannot give you a vision but i can correct your eyes so that you can see what you want to see i can give you share with you my insights what you should eat and what you should not and the rest you have to do someone asked him what is poison he said anything in excess is poison do not ask me the question whether sugar is poison or salt is poison if you are taking it in the required amount it is life invigorating and in excess it is poison if i can if i give you 1 pound of sugar to eat you will tend to vomit if i give you the same amount of salt to eat you will begin to vomit you have to use your intuition how much to eat this is the wisdom i am sharing with you this morning while i was waiting in the lounge i pick up one of my publications meditation the ultimate in healing and i will just share a piece from that and in fact currently there are over 100 books published from america india basically by taosho buddha this is a book meditation the ultimate in healing man is a universe within an outer universe just like the body of the universe human body is composed of cells these cells are interconnected by electromagnetic force This force works through electrolytes present in each cell. Individual human consciousness is byproduct of ego and mind. All the states of pain and pleasure exist because of ego mind combination. It is because of this eternal pair of ego and mind that we have innumerable desires. Man requires tremendous energy to fulfill these desires. unfulfilled desires cause illness and pain this requires method to cure disease and pains disease 
comes to the man sometimes we invite it because of our emotional imbalance the imbalance between our body mind and energy three things are there firstly the earth element which is the free electrons the positive element which is photon as albert einstein calls it or the sun energy and when these two are in harmony with one another the sun energy and the earth energy then you generate energy within you this energy that comes within you is known as chi as chinese call taoist master calls it or pranavayu as the hindu spiritualists call it it is this trinity of the earth free electrons photon the sun energy and the chi various religions call it differently they call it father son and holy ghost hindus call it brahma vishnu mahesh the science calls it electrons protons and neutrons whatever be but the basis remains at war unless we can create a balance between these three our energy level will be relatively low so when we consume food on a day to day basis we have to be aware what we are consuming the first i will just touch on use a stone grind whole wheat flour which has the wheat germ wheat bran and all the natural ingredients which are required to make the flat bread or roti or whatever it is yesterday morning my daughter who is visiting here she asked me around 8 o'clock daddy make this chola bhatura which is a indian version you make a chana chickpeas and a fried puri like our badas my sister told her who is also visiting that how can you order at this time which requires 2 or 3 hours the chana is not soaked the dough is not ready he said no he is he knows what to do i told him and he will make it now i have to find device how should i eat my flour i am not going to use the white flour of course not and i am not going to use the baking powder but it has the flour the dough has to be very light how am i going to do i need the flour the whole wheat stone grind whole wheat flour with yogurt and yeast yeast is a life giving enzyme when you are making yogurt it is the enzyme which converts lactose into lactic acid and you get yogurt the same enzyme when it converts the fructose and you get vinegar or apple cider the sugar in the apples is converted into by the enzymes and it becomes vinegar so i use that and it requires about 3 or 4 hours 3 to 4 hours to set so i continue to work on it vigorously in order to make it lighter and then finally within hour and a half the items were ready you have to be innovative how to devise the ways and means in order to make your food tasty and nutritious i do not use the other oils because all the foods that are available on the shelves or outside is trans fat so if you have to eat outside for certain reasons i have no choice but at home at least i can do differently something which i would like to use which is healthy and life invigorating for me so i will use the whole wheat flour no baking powder my stone grind whole wheat flour does not require any baking powder to be added to it so use coconut oil and few of the important items the qualities i will mention today in this program it is beneficial for heart and weight benefits too 
the advocates of the coconut oil also point out to its cardiovascular protective and fat burning properties as well as its antibacterial benefits now trans fat means the fat that tends to break into its ions carbon bonding is very weak and it breaks into its components and it does not gets assimilated into the body it does not give you energy it simply gives you a fat so i heard this morning the eyes was saying to the feet that i cannot see you for so long is almost 2 years i have been seeing you how come you could not see me because there is belly is growing bigger and bigger and i cannot see your feet, uh, see feet so do you want your eyes to complain that they cannot see the feet and your feet is always moving forward because something has to be eaten and the tongue always complains that in the morning early the tongue is eating pepper sauce the stomach is complaining what always you are ready to uh, eat this and that and so and you know i have to work you don't do anything you just eat and for a few minutes you do just that's all if the pepper is burning but everything i have to do is stomach has to do so do you want your stomach lucky thing is stomach does not speak but it speaks in its own way so you remember do not give any extra work to your stomach than it is needed according to a population study of 2500 people from polynesian island high coconut oil intake has no effect on cholesterol levels investigators tracked folks who consumed high fat diets derived primarily from coconuts every meal contained coconut in one form or the other the researchers reported that the participants overall health was good and their vascular disease was uncommon You remember this is the only oil which is naturally hydrogenated the body it is so light that body assimilates it without any problem the liver does not have to work the kidneys does not have to work to assimilate coconut oil and it maintains your health in fact even though those people were consuming high amount of saturated fat in the form of coconut oil it remembers coconut oil is saturated saturated means nothing can be added to it if you are making a lime juice and you can go on adding sugar but there is a limit comes when you cannot add any more sugar the sugar solution is concentrated and when you make a solution of with the salt it is known as brine the concentrated solution when nothing else can be added it is so saturated that it does not break down In fact even though these people were consuming high amount of saturated fat in the form of coconut oil they did not seem to have high cholesterol coronary heart disease colon cancer and other bowel disorders were rare as well the lead researcher dr ian proyer concluded that there was no evidence that high saturated fat intake from coconut oil had any harmful effect This conclusion seems right and then some. Not only does the coconut oil appears to not hurt, it also seems to be beneficial when it comes to gastrointestinal health. However, that cannot be stated conclusively without evaluating the participants entire diet. This does not mean that you just change the oil and consume a regular way all other things just as when you go to change the oil in your automobile you use the recommended oil and along with the oil you change the gas filter the oil filter and check the other things in the car the same way just using the coconut oil alone is not the remedy the lifestyle means when to eat how to eat how much to eat and you remember anything in excess is poison interestingly when it comes to weight loss it appears that coconut oils medium chain triglycerides are the very reason that it is effective the people who wants to reduce the weight go on the coconut oil 
consume the coconut oil orally the 1 to 5 tablespoons per day and the other things which are beneficial it turns out that when you eat coconut oil your body uses it more quickly rather than storing it as fat the other oils the and this is where you have to make your decision your government your authorities are not interested in your health they are interested in their own status positions and everything you remember what kind of investments we are attracting in our country and none of the fast food outlet advertises what kind of cooking medium they are using for cooking your foods that you get through get from your fast food outlets the medium of the cooking oil has to be displayed and that's a vegetable oil what does it vegetable oil it is an incomplete explanation vegetable oil means is it hydrogenated naturally or it is partially hydrogenated all the partially hydrogenated oils they are trans fats and they turn into poison into the body they remain and they create the fat it turns out that when you eat coconut oil your body uses it more quickly than storing it as fat in this way those medium chain triglycerides are thermogenic meaning that they are act they actually speed up your metabolism burning more calories and giving you more energy for example according to several online sources farmers from 1940s wanted to fatten their livestock so they gave them the coconut oil however the animals became leaner and more active this is quite intriguing but cannot be attributed to any credible source but we did discover a human body that seems to back it up according to these st studies the mechanism of action of tri medium chain triglyceride and fat burning makes sense psychologically we were ready to dismiss the connection between coconut oil and weight loss due to the lack of clinical evidence then we came across several studies which included a randomized placebo controlled double blind study from brazil researchers tested that the effect of coconut oil in 40 women between the age of 20 to 40 with clinical abdominal obesity means means waist circumference of more than 88 centimeters half of the group group received a daily dose of either soya bean oil or coconut oil for 12 weeks both of the groups were instructed to follow a balanced low caloric diet and to walk 50 minutes each day at the end of this study those taking coconut oil had a statistically greater loss of waist circumference than those taking soya bean oil the coconut oil users also had a statistically high level of hdl good cholesterol and lower ldl ratio than the soya bean oil group both group enjoyed a decrease in their body mass index that is bmi take the coconut oil orally in a certain amount so that your the health improves i will have to pause on this in order to explain the qualities of the fire salt because a, a person a regular listener had asked me to explain these points and then i have to give you the information about the cooking class which is going to start these the benefits of the rock salt it is the purest salt on earth it is essential for life number one the salt regulates the water contents throughout the body it promotes the ph level in your cells particularly your brain cells it does not take the water from the cells so there is nothing no problem with your cells whereas regular salt takes 23 times the salt the water from your cells it promotes the ph level means the water balance in your cells particularly your brain cells 
it promotes blood sugar health and that helps in reduce the sign of aging it helps in generating hydroelectric energy in cells in your body it helps in the absorption of food part particles through your intestinal tract it supports the respiratory health it promotes the sinus health it promotes the muscle cramps it promotes bone strength it regulates your sleep it naturally promotes the sleep it supports libido promoting vascular health in conjunction with water it is actually essential for regulation of your blood pressure only this much on the soul now the we are marketing deep frozen foods the samosas the parathas the naans the gluten free items dosa idli sambar then the east indian sweets rasmalai carrot halwa moong dal halwa moong barfi kalakand milk cake and kulfi all these foods are available through prem singh puja bhavan in curep 6636084 the question for this morning is name two sweets that we are marketing in trinidad and tobago also these products are available at ms food city supermarket debe 6477993 cost price discount lower aranguez better deal cost cutters in eldorado price club in shagwanas extra food naipaul's extra food the three branches grand bazaar shagwanas and arima and also you can give me for wholesale and retail inquiry or anything at 6838587 i can help you in planning your menu also now the information about the cooking class finally the venue has been sorted out the venue is prisai community center of the the kuba prisai flyover it is at the back of inshan ali park the cooking class next week saturday it will be the orientation class the class will start on two classes per week saturday and sunday because of the limitations of the venue and other activities the class will be from 9 to 11:30 in the morning saturdays and sunday for all the inquiries and other things you can give me a call at 6838587 tausho buddha or 7479770 anand nilambar any of these two persons will give you the information the venue is prisai community center and you can give me a call for registration next week saturday at 9 o'clock will be the orientation now it is your question time you have to give the answer and the one who answers the question correctly will get a complimentary gift from tausho buddha food network the suppliers of stone grind whole wheat flour basmati rice shri gun brand of spices the deep foods khao to jano udupi recipes the gluten free foods and much more than what you can imagine you know the question name the two sweets that tausho buddha food network markets in trinidad and tobago carrot halwa carrot halwa is made from carrots and rasmalai is made from milk also okay kola and- thank you so much all right mr buddha will get in touch with you to make arrangements for you to collect your prize okay okay thank you for that thank you for participating in the question session and also for cooking class all the arrangement is made the cooking class will start at prisal community center of the kuwa prisal flyover next week saturday at 9 o'clock will be the orientation 
it is uh, eight classes and the classes will start will have on two days saturday and sunday in the morning from 9 to 11:30 so that the other activities at the community center will not get disrupted give me a call at 6838587 or 7479770 you can give your name for registration and all the other information you will get uh, when you give me a call. We are coming to you with the compliments of all deep frozen items, the sweets and all these things and also you can get all these at Prem Singh's Puja Bhavan, extra food, all the branches and many other stores nationwide. Thank you very much for being such a patient listener this morning. Keep the dial on for continued programming.